very interesting. We talk about signs quite often on here, and I think she's going to be able to add a lot to that conversation. Okay, Millie, we're going to try again. So now I need different rocks. <laughs> I think we need the peach moonstone. Peach moonstone. And what else? Ooh, a tiger eye. Yes. Okay. Oh, they look nice together. Look at that. The tiger eye and the peach moonstone. Hmm. All right. Trying again for Millie. Hmm. I just have to say, out of absolutely nowhere, the Taylor Swift song Shake It Off just started playing in my head. <laughs> and there's really no reason for that song to be stuck in my head at this particular moment. I don't know if it has any significance. I just had to throw it out there. Okay, may we have a spirit for Millie this time, please. Okay, I have a woman, and she seems like a grandmother. Um, I wouldn't rule out great-grandmother either. She is coming in very strongly with the color, with a dark blue color. Like, it's almost like I'm seeing her through a tinted dark blue. Trying to feel into the blue. What does that mean? What is the significance of the blue? I mean, blue could mean sadness. This blue is so dark, it also reminds me of nighttime. not sure yet but we'll leave it there blue so she's presenting herself to me as being fairly old like i see her with some white hair i don't know if all of her hair was white but she had some white it's like i see it like right here specifically um She seems kind of quiet. And she's kind of like holding herself at a distance. So I don't know if that's a, a personality thing or if it's just to me. Which if it's if it's a to me thing, it could mean that in the living this what we're doing right now wouldn't have been something that she um believed in or thought was appropriate. But I'm not sure if that's what it is yet. If it's a personality thing, it could be that she was quiet and kind of reserved and maybe kind of kept to herself. 
I think as we get into this reading, all this, this stuff will make sense. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. She seems very gentle. Like she would have talked softly, but she would have had a gentle touch. So I'm starting to think that it's her personality, that she spoke softly, that she was kind of quiet, um, that she kind of really just spoke when she thought it was important or she had something important to say. Still keep seeing her with that color. But I also see her with like a quilt. I don't know if she was a quilter or if she made things like textile type of things. Um you know, like crocheting, knitting, quilting, like those type of things, like fabric y things. I don't know, it's definitely a quilt because now she's like holding it out to me. And it, I don't know, I'm hitting other things. And it has like, um, it's almost like it has specific important things on this particular quilt. Okay, let me see if I can pick up on how she passed. I think she might have passed in her sleep. I don't know if there was anything very specific. It might have just been like an old age kind of passing. And let me try for an initial. B. B, 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 B. Okay, let me write it down. Female, older, white hair, at least some. She's quiet. Oh, I just turned the light on in here. Oh, yeah, let's, let's turn that off. Okay. Uh, quiet, soft spoken. Um, talked when it was important. I think she might be a grandmother or great. I think she passed in her sleep. And the letter B, which could be her or someone related to her. And she showed me the quilt. Okay. All right, let's see what I missed. Yeah, tea time said my friend couldn't wait for dinner. <laughs> no, she was ready. Um, you love reflective stones. Me too. You got two reflective ones. My grandma is who I was hoping to hear from. She's a very calming person. So maybe that's why blue. Oh, calm. Yes, for blue. She's a very Christian lady, so maybe she's nervous. Very well could be. I was kind of feeling that could be part of it also. She was very gentle and had the softest hands ever. Hey, Mikey. Um, she made me and all of your siblings quilts. <gasps> I love it. She had Alzheimer's and you were by her bedside when it happened. <gasps> Bob is your grandpa. Ah! Oh, the quilts. I love the quilts. My mom is a quilter too. So the quilts thing is great i love it isn't it so nice to have something it's like even though she's gone you you and all your siblings have this thing that she made with her hands 
for you you know it's like even if she's not physically there anymore you physically have this thing that like is part of her because she made it with her hands like i just i think it's a big deal and i have quilts that my mom has made so my mom is still living but i know when she does go that having those things is going to be like very comforting you know that's awesome okay all right well let's see what she wants to tell you today <sighs> she's warming up to me now <laughs> i think because i talked up the quilts <laughs> Mm. she was totally like standoffish like mm, I don't know about this yet but now she's like way up closer and she's smiling at me so this is a good sign we're on, we're on the right track <laughs> we have made a positive connection here Oh, she is so grateful to you for being with her, even when it seemed like she didn't know what was going on. Alzheimer's is so awful. All of that is gone now, you know, like... There's no more confused, fuzzy mind. Because there's no mind to be confused anymore. She's just, she's just herself. I see you giving her a hug. But she wasn't coherent enough to hug you back. So she's acknowledging that she knows that you were hugging her and kissing her and loving on her and taking care of her when it seemed like she didn't know that you were. She knew that you were. So she's letting you know that. You gave her something. It's a card. I don't think it necessarily has to be one that you made the whole thing, but if it was a store bought one, there was something in it that you that you really put a lot of effort into, whether you just like wrote out stuff. So she's acknowledging that also. She's also confirming that, yes, you are very sweet. <laughs> she said that your love and determination is going to take you very far in life. And don't get discouraged by mean people. Well, that's a lot of very specific things. All right, let's write them down. <clears throat> All right. Where to start? Where to start? Okay, so basically she's um, confirming and acknowledging. Acknowledging. Um, oh, I can't even spell it. Acknowledging um, all the things that you did for her when she didn't seem like she knew what was going on.
and the card, something with a card, and then um Okay, so your love and determination will take you far. But don't let the mean people bring you down. I feel like that might be a reference to something recently. Okay. <sighs> yes, it was really hard for you to see her that way. And when I hugged her, I never knew if she knew how much I loved her. She absolutely did. And that's what she's telling you this evening. I think I know what she means by not letting someone get to me, but it's way too much to explain here. That's fine. You don't have to explain it to us. You just know. You know. You know what I was talking about, and you know what she was talking about. Okay. Jelly Biscuit, thank you. Oh, subscription. What? Thanks, Jelly. For three months of time. Well, that's awesome. Nice to see you. Yeah, you don't have to go into all of it here. We don't need to know all of the details. You can just know that your grandma knows and she doesn't want you to let it get you down because you are like, you are such a bright, shining light of love and sweetness and kindness that when somebody is shitty to you like it really hurts you because you don't understand how some like you would never act like that to somebody so why would they do it to you so grandma is trying to say don't let it bring you down don't let it bring you down because you are capable of some amazing stuff. And if you let the negative, nasty, mean little nibblers pull you down, then your light isn't shining as bright as it, as it could be. So when somebody's shitty to you, just try. I know it's hard because it happens to me too. You have to try to just let it go. That's their problem. That's what their issue is. It is not really, it's not me. That's a reflection of what's going on within them. And I have to do what I'm doing. And I can't worry about what they're thinking. Oh, thanks, Jelly Biscuit, for contributing to the 30 minute terror video giveaway. And Keisha, Keisha agrees. Every bit of it. <laughs> and I think that is a and Salty said this is a great message for everybody it is it is because all of us are made up of this wonderful miraculous stardusty energy that comes from all the same place and we're all capable of crazy amazing things but we let all the negative crap in the world and from negative people bring us down and it this that's what happened to me last week, right? I was feeling crappy about stuff because I let it get to me, and we all do it. But we have to remember, we all have to remember that we can't let that happen because we got stuff to do. We have important stuff to do to help each other out. And if we're feeling down from everybody else's garbage, then we can't help everybody do what they need to do. Millie, I'm so glad that we could get your reading for you. And I really like your grandma, even though she was afraid to talk to me. <laughs> it means so much to me to hear that from her. She was the glue that held everyone together. And there has been so many times since she passed, I wish I could have her advice again. I absolutely understand. Oh, Jelly Biscuit. I'm sorry, honey. I'm closed for the night. I'm really glad that you 
were able to come in though and subscribe again. Hopefully you can get in earlier next time. Sorry. Um good Millie. Good. I'm glad. Yeah.